Hello, I'm Kate from Team 5, Nano Retention. Why does our world feel like this? It's because of man-made climate change. There's less and less fresh water in the world, but climate change also brings unstable weather, intense rains after periods of dry weather, droughts. These problems will touch everyone, but our cities just aren't built for this. We clearly should learn from nature. Nature is great at collecting water. Well, we've made some progress too, but it's not ideal. These systems are way too complicated and typically use a lot of fresh water. And that water, it comes from nearby lake or a river. And that's not sustainable and we can do better. Our team has come up with a solution on how to deal with flooding and droughts. We need to create places for rainwater to stay and then to slowly return it back into the ecosystem. Life follows the water. Like what if every wall was made of buckets? Aren't we missing something? Of course, humans didn't evolve in concrete jungles, but in real ones. We are drawn to organic shapes, textures and movements, smells and sounds. That is the nature. And we need to bring it back into our cities. I was inspired by the ability of pinecone to change its shape when wet. And I found a material that can imitate that. It's called bacterial nanocellulose, and it's made from tea fungus, the kombucha drink. This material can hold up to 20 times its weight in water. It also changes shape just like pinecone, and we think that it can be used to manage water in cities. This is our vision, organic moving walls instead of concrete and metal. During this hackathon, we've developed a technology for collecting rainwater on any surface. This system is modular and it is easily adaptable. It has many layers and many functions. On the outside layer, we place local moss. It's almost impossible to kill and it's suited for colder climates. But it's also fantastic for cleaning the air and for acoustic isolation. In other words, it creates the new intimacy by filtering the noise and pollution of the modern city, bringing us closer to nature. To illustrate that, we need to start small. We want to make a small scale product for Dutch Design Week something on the intersection of art and utility, something that is organically attractive, sustainable and accessible, something that people would like to have. It's a self-watering flower pot that closes its petals when the water is low. And it's not just pictures, we are working on it. Nanoretention is just a technology, a tool that we learn from nature itself, and we think there's a lot of use for it. But the most perspective for us is developing a sustainable and accessible green wall. It's the shortest way to achieving my personal goal of turning our cities into forests. So what's the plan? First, we need to start small, make an art object, focus on individual user experience, develop a prototype and test it. This fits well into the Dutch Design Week timeline. After that comes the feedback and wide collaboration. Then we scale up. After the second prototype, we can rent out pieces of our living wall to businesses and public spaces. Another scale up, optimizing the production, and then we can collaborate with architect and design studios, eventually providing a working product and service. This is our plan for the next few years, but we also like to dream. We dream of bringing nature into our cities, natural processes and natural energy. And this material that we use has so much potential. And we are the dreamers. Thank you.